Hello, how's everybody doing today? I had a pretty amazing uh, opening act with Linus. That was pretty exciting. You don't often get that opportunity. Well, I'm here today to talk about trust. Um, some of you may know uh, me, but many of you probably don't. Uh, so how can I come to earn your trust today? Um, I always believe that sharing is caring. So we're gonna start on that. I'm gonna share a little bit and hopefully we'll all end up caring a little bit. Obviously, someone trusts me enough to shove me out here on stage. Uh, they think I have uh, some value that I can add to you all. Uh, trust is earned through demonstrating desired behaviors and earning respect in every interaction. I assert to you that I have done uh, some interesting and uh, occasionally useful things that have earned the trust and respect of members of the community, and they felt, uh, obviously, I could add some value for you all here today, but I have to start earning your trust, and I'm gonna start doing that right meow. My handle is Crobe. I am extremely glad to be here in beautiful, historic uh, Dublin, Ireland. Giaguit, everyone. Um, I will next assert to you that open source has always been built on trust and always will be. Uh, open source has uh, really always been an, an interesting, amazing, and complex web of trust. Uh, 30 years ago, when uh, a student named uh, Linus sent out an email, he started us off on this journey. And that saw us all contribute first to a platform where they could host these amazing ideas. And then eventually it developed into an ecosystem and then turned into a whole new way of developing software that scales that have never been seen before. Along the way, the threat landscape changed. And as the adoption of these new tools and methodologies penetrated further and further into our everyday lives, what at one point was referred to as a, a bunch of hobbyists, um, that transformed and it evolved into these amazing tools and ideas that are the foundation that the global economy is driven by. Uh, each, but each time some new vulnerability came up, um, the community came together and we fixed it. It might not have always been pretty, but it got fixed. And with each new high-profile incident, it pounded home the notion that we all had become critical infrastructure. And also, with all, each new headline, it also helped uh, us realize that there were some gaps in our trust. Intrinsically, open source software is built upon communities of individuals coming together. They collaborate and they build something wonderful. And one or two person projects blossom into uh, vibrant communities which impact the whole ecosystem. And this trust requires, uh, this all requires trust from the foundation, up and down the stack, throughout the supply chain. And this brings me today where organizations like the one I work with, um, we've been contributing to open source communities for over 20 years. And uh, we feel it's very, we feel very strongly about contributing and participating. So we came together with competitors, friends, um, newcomers and incumbents. And we came together in the spirit of trust and transparency because we wanted to help the software and the movement that we all love. So building upon these relationships and this trust earned in the past, the OpenSSF was formed with the idea of improving security for the whole open source ecosystem. Uh, we have corporations, maintainers, researchers, academics, individual contributors. We've all joined together uh, for nearly the last three years and we've focused on very specific problems. You've heard names like projects like SIGSTOR, SBOM, SALSA, scorecards, badges. These all have been woven into the story that the community is banded together with to try to make the whole ecosystem better. Focusing on specific security problems that have the potential for maximum benefit for the whole of the ecosystem, for all maintainers, for all contributors, and all consumers. We've gathered together to help work on some of these tough problems. 
And these problems affect virtually everyone. Companies like Intel see value in participating to help contribute to solve them. Intel has continuously worked to strengthen and grow uh, open source communities because the, the future is open. And we work on open standards, tools, processes, then we try to set trusted expectations for software products and services that we make, and we hope that the whole community eventually uh, can adopt and model after. And this is what myself and my fellow geese in the OpenSSF are striving to bring to all communities. So now that I've shared a little bit and hopefully demonstrated that I care, ideally, I've earned a little bit of your trust. And I ask you all, uh, my open source family here and out on the inner tubes watching from home, uh, please join us and help us solve some of these immense problems. I hope everyone had some crack and you know, hopefully we learn to trust each other a wee bit more. Thank you for your time and attention. And please, I look forward to seeing you contributing and building that trust. Thank you, everybody.